Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on January 2nd, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to The Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, world weather, and volcanoes. Always starting out here looking at our sun. Amazing images the last 48 hours. We've seen some strong activity coming from the cresting limb. As well, notable southern hemisphere, big plasma filament getting ready to rip away in the last few images there. Stay tuned for the next update, give you more imagery. Quick look here at the last 48 hours incoming as we saw an X-class and two M-class solar flares as well, plasma filament eruptions. It's been very busy since just after Christmas when we saw an X-flare and then we saw another X-class flare, which is the strongest X-flare we've seen in this cycle. Having a look at multi-spectrum, the last 48 hours of imagery pointing out the most recent events. Southern Hemisphere erecting a huge solar tornado from a plasma filament. As well, we've got coronal hole leaving and another one turning in for an Earth-facing event set to increase our solar wind speeds. Having a look at 171 angstroms here, just another beautiful way to look at our sun and its five sunspot regions. Give you a quick moment to enjoy these images. And thank you very much for watching. All the best in 2024. Hopefully it is treating you awesome so far. Much love and I appreciate all the new follows. We are literally 10 away from 69,000. Thank you so much to everyone for sharing. There are five sunspot regions right now. Current space weather conditions, we are still under R1. Minor radio blackout impacts expected. Solar winds not being noted there right now. Solar X-ray flux showing that large X-class to M-class. And as well, another minor M-class today. Solar proton flux rising steadily. Geomagnetic activity, we did hop up to a KP4 overnight, sitting at a KP3 right now. Space prediction spiral here by Space Weather and NOAA. Still showing a massive CME taking off from the sun. It certainly looks different today. Just pointing out planet Earth, which is the green circle. Then we've got stereo A and stereo B which are satellite positions. So that is set to give us a glancing blow here, fifth and to the sixth. ISPA space prediction spiral showing a backside CME set to give Venus a glancing blow with that coronal mass ejection. Current solar wind speeds right now are 412 kilometers per second. Highest we've seen the last couple days has been about 447 kilometers per second density bunches still a little bit high at 1295 having a look here at lasco 2 showing the last 48 hours of events this shows all of our cmes in action notable there the last few images the most recent cme taking off towards venus but we got a couple solar, we had solar flares producing coronal mass ejections and as well plasma filaments. Now let's get to earthquakes the past 24 hours as we're still seeing lots of activity and aftershocks through Japan. Pretty rare area for all of these earthquakes to be going on and stay tuned. I've got a video that I'd like to share my findings and information here and my studies because I do believe something bigger is coming. And it might be coming from the Marianas Trench. Very quiet across Fiji today. Normally we have deep earthquakes there. But Japan taking all the seismicity. North American plate, way too quiet. Caribbean plate, way too quiet. Notable earthquake here, Mid-Atlantic Ridge 5.0. And our deepest the last 24 hours, 4.8, 187 kilometer depth, San Antonio de los Cobros. 
Notable earthquake here, 4.6 Morocco and a 4.4 in Georgia. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. USGS is reporting about 180. So things have definitely quieted down since our Mercury retrograde, which we saw an earthquake increase and as well, large magnitude earthquakes. Large magnitude solar flares as well. Heads up, North American plate, it's been way too quiet as of late, especially towards the Pacific Northwest and the Cascadia Zone, Juan de Fuca plate. I don't, I'm not saying I'm a psychic, but I do believe that I can forecast earthquakes. Something is coming, big time, for the West Coast. Having a look here at Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent satellite imagery from around the world and as well pointing out the most recent volcanoes getting updated today. As we still have 43 volcanoes that are active and erupting. Looking at here, Dakono in Indonesia. Luatobi in Indonesia, which is just north of Luatolo, an even bigger volcano. Ibu in Indonesia. Lots of flood alerts here. Nevada de Ruiz, Colombia. Pop of Querétaro in Mexico. Fuego, Guatemala. Sabincaya in Peru. Abinas in Peru. Semeru, Indonesia. So that's about 10 volcanoes getting updated today out of the 43 that are active and erupting. Looking at satellite imagery here. Long line of moisture stretching from Mexico straight across the Atlantic and up into Europe. And same things happening in the Southern Hemisphere over South America, reaching the tip, the southern tip of Africa. Just the tip. Overlooking Southeast Asia, Australia, and the Pacific. Some vigorous systems and cold systems moving across the North Pacific that is set to... Uh, change things here quickly across North America, especially when it comes to winter and El Nino. Overlooking Africa, Europe, we still have tropical cyclone Alvero that is alive, just getting ready, or actually has left landfall on Madagascar. Lots of clouds moving into Western Europe. Let's have a look at our weather forecast brought to you by windy.com. West Coast, do have a low pressure system hanging around and lingering this week multiple systems moving through cold air is funneling down thanks to the changing uh, polar vortex which yesterday i shown that it had split so now these cold temperatures are going to start spinning around extreme weather expected here ninth into the 10th and as well blizzard conditions for canada as all these lows will be trapped with the polar vortex that's right Minus double digits, minus 23 in some areas, parts of Alberta, minus 18 in central United States, and looking at about a minus 5 across Ontario. So very cold temperatures are swinging around. Same thing for Europe, but mostly Eastern Europe for now. Watch for things to change in the not-too-distant future. Overlooking here, Europe and Africa. Daily evaporation rains across more southern regions, not more equatorial through Africa. Europe, you've got three lows affecting you this week. One major low coming in the 6th into the 7th will be invading the Mediterranean, and it is going to linger around for days. And then interesting low pressure system here moving through the North Atlantic as it gains strength and starts to head south. Overlooking Australia, Southeast Asia. Still a lingering low pressure systems across the Northern Territory of Australia. And you will see daily extreme weather events all week long. As temperatures rise and the moisture doesn't stop. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected across Northern Territories of Australia. Massive floods are being seen. Now let's just have a look here at wave height 
center of those waves looking at about 12 to 13 meters in the white areas, but definitely going to be seeing a turbulent, turbulent event all across the West Coast. Same with the North Atlantic heading into France and the United Kingdom, Ireland. You've got some big wave events on their way to you. And look at the size of that low in the mid-Atlantic. Much love, everybody. Thanks for watching. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.